Hi everybody, welcome to Cooking with Abby. That's Abby. I'm her daddy, and today we're making... Latka! Potato pancakes! Latkas! So this is part of our Hanukkah series where we are making two traditional Hanukkah treats two different ways. One with all the oil and one with little to no oil. Today we're making latkes and we're making the oil-free version. In fact, they're pretty close to oil-free. As with all the Hanukkah recipes, they're good all year round, not only at Hanukkah. In fact, tonight we're going to have these latkes as a french fry substitute because really, they're kind of hash browns. So that's cool, right? We can try them with ketchup. Are you looking forward to making latkes? Can I have a nibble nibble? Oh, you want to have a nibble? Hold up, we have to say, let's go. Let's go. For today's episode, you will need two pounds of yellow flesh potatoes, which is approximately six or seven potatoes, depending on their size, one medium onion, two large eggs, a quarter cup of flour, half teaspoon of baking soda, some salt and pepper for seasoning, and your food processor with the largest grater option. We're ready to start. We have taken away all of our other ingredients. We just have our potato and your onion here. And why don't you put a piece of potato in there or two? I know a lot of you are saying the only way to make potato pancakes properly is with one of these. What's going to happen to your fingers if we use one of these? If we do like this, then, then we're going to get blood all over. Lots of blood, and no one likes blood in their latkes. It's really not... Especially, especially, especially this, this one, one, yeah. We're going to use that one for another episode, but we'll figure out how to do it better with a mandolin. And the only other thing I want to talk about first is make sure, people, you take this out of your food processor, or else you'll just end up with a lot of potato mush. Wait. Ah! Ready? Turn it on. Okay. Uh, That's good. Next ones. Uh oh. That one doesn't fit. Put it in there. And repeat. Uh oh. Silly goose. And repeat for all of your potatoes. Go. All right, so we don't have to worry about the little bits on top. That's fine. We have a few techniques to get nice, crispy, yummy potatoes. One is to take your shredded potatoes and soak them in water for a few minutes first. We'll do that now. Another is the potato selection. I alluded to it before. We're using the yellow skin potatoes, and these are great because they're firm, so they retain their, their shape and they don't turn into mush. And the other thing is that they kind of have a buttery flavor, which is really nice. Ours are leaking all over the place here, but that's okay. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to say? No. So into the water they go. It's not soaked, it's starch. Clean out all your potatoes, you don't want to waste any. And then we will let these soak for about two, three minutes. So our potatoes are soaking for a few minutes in water. While that happens, we will mush up our onion here. Now I've done two things to the onion. One is ready for the food processor, and the other I've diced up by hand because this is gonna pretty much pulverize the onion, which is nice because it gets the onion flavor everywhere throughout your potato pancake. But I like a little crunch of the occasional onion. What about you? You like onion? So we just put all of this in here. These are gonna get disintegrated. It's gonna be kind of hard. It's gonna turn into mush. We're gonna lose them. But wait, before you turn it on, the other thing that soaking does is it prevents the browning. I knew there was something else, I just couldn't remember what it was. So often your potatoes will go brown. This should minimize that. It won't eliminate it, but it will minimize it. Hit her! So I'm gonna take these little bits of onion left over here and I'm going to dice them up so that we can keep all of our onion. Do you dice? Oh no, are you crying? So I did a couple things in advance as well. One, I did the onions in advance so that Abby wouldn't cry. And two, I peeled our potatoes in advance to keep our Abby time to a minimum and, you know, increase the daddy time a little bit. Are you crying? Yeah. Oh, is it so sad? No. Oh. Are you also crying? No, don't cry. Guys, don't cry. So I told you we had three techniques for extra crispy, yummy potato latkes. One, potato. Two, soaking in water. And three, Kind of counter to that one. We take all of our shredded potato, we put it on paper towel. Spread it out. Spread it out. Get it all out of the colander here. And this is the fun part. We roll it up like a burrito. <laughs> no, we're just from one side. 
And Try then what you're it. gonna do is you're gonna smush it and squeeze it. And what we're doing is we're getting rid of all of that extra water. We're gonna do this as best we can. You wanna squeeze it? Squeeze it, put it And this is gonna get rid of that moisture. Flour is gonna help that as well. And these are gonna make them extra nice and crispy. Think you're good? Yeah. All right, you do that. I'm gonna go get everything else ready. So we have all of our ingredients back. I've had to put the onions far away from Abby so she doesn't cry. You're gonna take this, we're gonna put it in the bowl now. So we're gonna lift it up, lift up our burrito. Put it in the Shake, 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 shake. You're not gonna get them all out, don't even try. But you can get most of it out. But what you have done is you've eliminated a ton of moisture from the potatoes, which is fantastic. Okay, it's still wet on it. What ingredients do you want to put in first? Mm. Eggs? Yeah. Dump them in. We're going to mix this, whoa, whoa, less swishy swashy. <laughs> We're going to mix this the, the really, you know, mm. in with baking soda. And this, because we're doing it in the oven, will help them puff up a little bit. Salt and pepper. Flour. So, um, Onions first. Uh, Flour first. I don't care. As I was saying, we're going to mix this the really hard way. The way we all hate to mix things when we're kids and even as adults. We're going to mix it with our hands. In goes the onions. Get them all out. Now we will pull up our sleeves and we will get in there and get nasty. Okay. Go, 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 go. But I'm gonna have onion all over my hand. Can I help? No. That looks so much fun. <laughs> no. Try to keep it in the bowl. <laughs> no, it won't. They'll get everything all over the place. Okay, I'm going in. No, you're not. Scrape out your fingers. Nope. Yep. You did a great job. You're almost done. All right, so we're done with our little helper here. I will just make sure that we went to the bottom and we got everything. We got our flour all nicely incorporated. All right, so Abby is gonna wash our hands, so am I. We'll get our cooking tray out. We'll put these on the tray, get them in the oven, and go from there. So we have our cookie sheet. You can use spray if you want. I'm kind of anti-cooking sprays. I don't know what's in them. So I just use a little bit of olive oil, put it on there. If you do use cooking spray, make sure you get the high heat one because our oven is at 425 degrees, which is pretty hot, right? You think that would burn you? Daddy's gonna do one just to show you here. We're gonna take about a, an adult palm size, so a pretty big kid hand size, and we're gonna probably get about six or eight on here at a time. You wanna put the other one right about there? A little, little further over here. These are gonna go in the oven for 15 minutes. Then we will turn them over, get them crisp on the bottom side, and cook them for another 10 minutes. We made latkes before. We have made latkes before. A little further from the edge. Yeah, it looks like we're only gonna get six because the abbeys are pretty big. You can make these whatever size you want. The only important thing, I'll let you do the last one. Try and make them into a ball of it. Keep them stick together. As I was saying, the only thing that's really important is that you make them all the same size because if you make them different sizes, their cook times are gonna be different, and no one wants that. No, we're done, dude. What are you doing? Well, you can't put it there. Because they're gonna grow and stick into each other. Well. Actually, they won't grow. Maybe we could do that. Maybe you're onto something, dude. <laughs> put one right there. You know, you kids. That's we're it, we're done for now. These go in the oven. See you at dinner. You want some ketchup with your latkes? Yeah. All right, everybody, the latkes are out. They look fantastic. Rebecca would like her ketchup right there. Here we go. And what do you think, Abby? Abby and I already ate one. They're very good. I sort of snuck one too, and they were very good. They're very good. They're not as good as fried. No, but they're, but they're very good. But they're, they're very good. I feel wrong having them with uh, ketchup. Well, today we're making them as a substitute to french fries. So everybody, there you have them, potato latkes baked instead of fried. They're pretty good. They're not quite the same, but they're pretty good. So we made our baked donuts. We love our trays so much. We want to give them away to you, our viewers. We want to give two away. The 
first one, we're gonna go away on the donut one, letting us know what your favorite donut topping is. The second one, we're gonna go away to what your favorite potato pancake topping is. Is it ketchup? Is it sour cream? Is it applesauce? Is it sour cream and applesauce? Is it jam? What is it? Let us know in the comments below. Don't punch the paintings though. Say bye bye everybody. Is this selfie latka not for you? No problem. Click the first video to watch us make latkas the way that makes the whole house smell. Fried! We also make donuts two different ways. Baked and fried. Don't forget our contest. Go to facebook.com slash cooking with Abby for all the details. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for cooking with Abby. We make cooking fun for the whole family.